Hello, my name is Heather Slusser with the University of Wisconsin in Marathon County. Today we're going to talk to you about using an ATP meter to help with your calf sanitation or farm sanitation audits. Measuring adenosine triphosphate is a common method food processors and healthcare industries are using to measure the effectiveness of their cleaning procedures. An ATP meter measures organic material present on surfaces which otherwise appear to be clean to the naked eye. The ATP meter is used to detect ATP, the universal energy molecule found in all animal, plant, bacteria, yeast, and mold cells. The ultrasnap testing swabs have a bioluminescence enzyme that reacts to the presence of ATP. The more ATP present, the greater the luminescence. The luminescence value is reported as relative light units, or RLU. If a low RLU reading is obtained, then very little ATP is present on the surface, and the surface is considered clean. In recent years, Dr. Donald Sockett, DVM with the Wisconsin Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory, has been working to adapt ATP usage to on-farm calf sanitation audits. The work by Dr. Sockett has allowed farmers to identify problem areas on their farm and address them. The ATP meter is easy to use. First, you swab the area you want to test. Then, you snap the top of the tube to release the bioluminescence enzyme. Mix the enzyme with the swab and place it in the meter. After 15 seconds, you have your results. Both dry surfaces and wet surfaces can be tested. Just use the appropriate swabs. Many co-ops have ATP meters. Veterinarians can come out and do testing for you. Dr. Socket has proposed the following guidelines to assess the cleanliness of calf feeding equipment and drinking water. These guidelines may change over time as field data is accumulated and analyzed. Hi, I'm Mary Fronick from North Central Technical College Agricultural Center of Excellence. Um, we at the NTC farm have been using the ATP meter for a while now. Um, it has helped us be able to troubleshoot problem areas with our uh, wet calves. And by using the ATP, ATP meter, we have been able to um, determine um, high bacteria areas and problem areas on the farm. Um, some of those areas would include um, feeding equipment, um, the auto feeder and milk dispenser for the calves. And by regular, regularly monitoring those levels, we have been able to increase the average daily gain for our calves and overall health. And by using the ATP meter, we've been able to have healthier calves and by doing that, healthier cow. I would like to thank North Central Technical College, their culinary program and their agriculture program for the use of their ATP meter and swabs to complete this video.